Hello, and welcome back to Feast of Pilgrims. We've uh, just finished exploring pretty much the entire western half of the city. We've been into the, and out of the cathedral and done most of what we need to there. And in fact, we have done our primary objectives except for the loot. But I want to get the Hellfire Ruby, which means releasing the demon, which means making the potion, which means getting the ingredients for the potion, which means finding where in this eastern part of the town they are, and I think, I think we know. I also want to find these other optional ones. We have what we need to steal the mechanical eye from the mechanist and Pentacaris, but we'll do that on the way back because it's back where we came from. Uh, and there's a packet of healing grape seeds, which. Uh, we're supposed to be on the lookout for a greenhouse, and I think that also might be right under us. So for that Hellfire Ruby... Um, yeah, the mechanist is here. And we're, I think, sitting in this you know, window just here, or maybe just here. Somewhere in this area, anyway. Um, once we've got all the four ingredients for the potion, we need to go back to here, uh, here to mince some of them here, to mix them and then back to the cathedral to release the demon and get the, the ruby, and I'm sure that's something that's going to go wrong. Uh, we found Vedas, so I don't need that note. It's supposed to be find a, a cray, cray man fetus in the soap factory. It's one of the ingredients. So we're supposed to find some antenna grease for the other ingredient. Now, there happens to be a big stalking antenna right there, so... I'm wondering if antenna grease is likely to be found in that building. And the healing grape seed, just between the lookout for a greenhouse and what is this below me, but well, it's kind of white and uh, grey. But you know. Sorry, I'll s I'll I won't stop with the terrible jokes, I'll just apologize for them insincerely. Well and this the cathedral uh, bell tower there. Oh, there's a, a mugging going on. Someone's fallen asleep on the carpet. Asleep or dead? I don't know, my sound is good though. Pack it up, grape seeds. To see how many healing grapes. That was another monster I didn't actually see, but uh, please, sir man, have some healing grapes, not just the seeds. I need hit points. But it looks like I am out of luck. Shame. Alright, well, we've got buildings to the north and the south. And turn to the north. Let's explore south first, because I think we'll probably. <coughs> what? What is that? Is that a guard with a washtub on his head? Yeah, don't don't jump like that, Colonel. Let's uh, jump all the way. Problem is noise. I do wonder if you can see anything at all. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, he's got a watch up on his head. Party here. Oh, someone's wearing a barrack mask. Ah, oh, the sights and sounds of silver smoke. Indeed. And the sights and sounds and the seeing. Lovely harmonies there, Mr. Washbasin. Was that a door? No, it was an odd door. All right, I could jump across, I think, to that building. Maybe. Light run. Okay, guess not. It looks reachable, but uh, the evidence seems to be otherwise. There's an open window there. That looks like it's uh, hard to get in and out of. So I guess that building there is how I get out there, and then across. Yeah, he's blind as a bat. The other problem is I probably can't knock him out. Good news is I probably don't need to. Let's just head out this window. Oh, hello. Oh, hmm. Wait. I think I recognise that uh, power box. I think we've been there a very long time ago now. Yes, this was uh, the empty apartment with the hidden emerald and the uh, somebody's pet frog beast. We looked out this window and didn't go out it because it was. Uh, Heading further east than I wanted to do at the time. So it's that, that window's open. So I don't need to make the jump. Right. Hearing footsteps somewhere around. Does that mean we've been in this building as well? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk trying to get on that lamp. No. I'll try it once more. No, this doesn't look familiar. I have not been here. Don't know if I've been there either. That's looking south. Yeah, it's probably these buildings, which we have not been in. Oh, those are not doors. In Connell, you must be uh, pretty light to trust your weight to... Uh, light fitting. You must be fittingly light. Well, I'm going to say confidently that's dead end. Actually, we've, we've been in that window. So perhaps I've been here. This looks... Yes, I've been here. This is clearly my handiwork. Oh, yes, another place we looked out the window and said, no, that's too far east and we're not going to go that way. Good. So it's just all... all uh, 
lining up <laughs> familiar places. <laughs> Who said that? Some fancy, very fancy place. This might be. Is this Telford Manor? Or is this the Rothschild estate? Yeah, Rothschild estate. We came across this. These are these two balconies. Hearing a guard intermittently. Alright, so we can get out there to the north. Oh, look, another light fitting. It's just my luck if this guard wants to come in here and look out the window. And the footsteps are going away again. Hit point! That's the cause for celebration. He seems to be walking around more or less at random, that's uh, risky. I think the guard is doing circles. Healing. This is a very fancy library, man. What's the letter here? Rothschild. Sauce and Boone, King Backbonk. But I really think Zyrick is where you're going to have more success. Call it a hunch, but I think that's where their headquarters are. I hear there's an old manor for sale, so now is the time if you're looking to make a move. Even if it turns out that Boone is where you need to be, Zyrick is still closer than the city. I understand that the war complicates travel, but this isn't a problem for you, is it? Gold solves most problems. Hector. I 
Is this his bedroom? All right. These nobles are strange. Respectful. I still need to search what's there as well. This will make it easier. Even if the guard finds him, you should think nothing of it, right? Now that would be a, uh, a nice bit of scripting to pull off in a mission, is uh, if you knock out a body and put them on a bed where they would be reasonably expected to be. Oh, they can't pick that up. That uh, the guards would not think it suspicious. Quiet. Let's turn that light off. That makes it very hard for me to see. Thanks to daylight swarming in through the rather thin blinds, but uh, hello. Did I miss any um, No, there's no other tall bookcases. <gasps> Three apples? Not a single hit point. Boo. However, I now have seven hit points. That's a lot better than I've been doing for a long time. Um, so I can get out here to the north. I haven't been to Castle Valerius at all. Can I get out here to the south? These windows don't open. So I wonder how people are getting paintings of uh, mechanist machinery when the mechanists are barely uh, even existing at this point. <coughs> yeah, there was no way through there, was there? That's... Uh... Hmm. This looks like it's showing a balcony on the eastern side too. I'm going to try going out here and see if there's a way through to the uh, castle of Valerius. <laughs> Alright, that was uh, unexpected. <laughs> Ended up standing on the banner. Not, not precisely how uh, it's meant to go, but... All right, south and east. Hmm. Wonder what that noise was. I could just knock him out, but you know... see me through the tree and <laughs> he's shooting the tree and I'm just gonna get infinite broadheads. Uh, I think this goes well for, for a flash bomb. Oh, 
I should have knocked him out when I had the chance, I guess. I'm now down to uh, just the one flash bomb. Well, if I need, if I was short of broadheads before, I'm certainly not now. South and east. Well, east. Um, are we on this corner? I think we might be on this corner. Yeah, that would, that looks like that must be Castle Valerius there. So I feel like this is just going back where we came from at the beginning. Well, I see loot here. I have not been in this room before. So I must have come from that end. Hello, Victoria. Don't hear anybody though. Sylvia, there's a raging lunatic on the loose. Some foreigner from across the really by the sounds of it. Nobody knows what he's after, as he doesn't speak our tongue. But he seems to target women and has been caught peeping into windows late at night. The other night he broke into Lady Valerius's estate, so it sounds like he's currently terrorizing silver smoke. This pervert hasn't managed to hurt anyone yet, but it's just a matter of time. Keep your doors locked while Byron is away. I don't want you to be this degenerate's next target. Yeah, this seems to be a dead end. So I think that's my answer. Lady Valerius's castle. Oh, hello. Is that Lady Valerius herself? Lady Valerius's castle is not accessible from here, so... If it's accessible from anywhere, I don't know where it would be. Uh, I think this must be where I came from, right? Don't really have any memory of it. Let's just check it out. Oh yes, this is rat. I mean, the rat's familiar, but this is dead end as well. Oh well, how we get back, I guess, is not the real concern at the moment. It's how we avoid dying. Completely forgotten there was a guard in here. Foolish, foolish. Alright, let's go out to the north where the other open window is. Huh? <gasps> 
this looks like a dead end. It's fine. I should go north anyway. Too many damn rats around here. Wait, if all that co commotion we heard was from that door, then it's surely from right out here. <laughs> Sorry, you're an archer. I don't think I can. Oh, you're. Uh, yeah. You look like a thief as well. Uh, you killed. Yes, that's the commotion. The guard saying, Die, it's after the archer. Dealing with him? Hmm. Oh, I thought you were dead. Wait. Wait, I can explain. Hey, I hear you. Come on out. There's nothing here. You know you can't hide forever. <sighs> Have you just given up and you're just gonna stand here now? Is that it? So you should ah. think you could just vanish oh. in the shadows again, Trixie boy. Oh. So that guard is playing dead very effectively. And I need to get across to there without doing that. And without waking up the archer who is just going to be uh <coughs> Quite a nuisance. Hey, what was that? What was that noise? Oh. With me and your oh. All right, that works. Ah. Oh. For your heart. Just you wait till I find you. Well, now this guard is quite unconscious. I wonder if he's intended to uh, wake up or if that's uh, accidental. A yeah, good time to save. Have I been in that window? No, no, no. This game would be uh I should probably wait till the guard is actually going away. Without quick save this game would be uh rather impossible. Closer. Oh, nothing. I'm too tense. Much too tense. <coughs> oh, he's going to walk back past the window again, isn't it? Isn't he?
Yes, light switch. Thank you very much to the mission designers for putting all these light switches in. In the uh, very large open map with so many guards, it is a wonderful thing to have. I'm gonna go. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Oh, quiet now. I'm sure it was nothing. Mess Ball, while I am flattered by your invitation, I'm afraid I must decline. I did not feel the sparks you mentioned during our unfortunate Winefield encounter at Pembroke's last summer. In fact, due to the poor light, I thought you were my wife. I am very sorry about this, but I'm going to have to ask you not to contact me again. My wife does not appreciate opening your letters, and it's led me to some very uncomfortable conversations. Tuffleshank. Dear Diary, I am so excited. Today I've learned that next week Los Cabrones are giving a performance here in the city. They are the best travelling band of musicians I know of, and their lead singer, so hot. All of them are, and their lyrics so deep, sweet, and magical. Even though I don't really know their language, I just feel the passion. I've already bought a ticket and a spare one in case I lose it, and I'm already counting the days till the show. Gosh, I might not be able to fall asleep tonight. Dear Diary, during today's dinner with Lady Valeria, she expressed utter disdain towards Los Cabrones, and not just their music, she called them a bunch of creeps who ruin every city they visit. Apparently, during their stay, they like to get drunk and then look for women to woo. Well, I'll tell you what, I want to be one of those women. Los Cabrones should arrive tomorrow, so I think I'll start taking long evening walks. Dear Diary, what foul luck. I've been wandering the street every day and haven't seen any member of Los Cabrones. Oh well, the show is already tomorrow, so I'll see them then. I have to ask Susie to find my best evening dress and get my perfume I've been saving for a special occasion. So excited. I think a little bit of wine would be nice. I think a little bit of loot would be nice. Bed. Does that guard actually not come in here? Uh, yeah, well. Oh, he does like to hang on hang around, I guess. It's gonna be awkward to uh, finish searching that room he's in. If I can't find any light switches anyway. I guess I could always, uh, you know, be unprofessional. Is someone there? No. Where are you going? Unprofessional it is. You're just like too slow. And awkward with all the tile around. If it wasn't for the tile, I wouldn't mind. I would take the risk. But uh, I mean, there may not be anything, but I didn't actually search properly. There is something, and something, and something else, and the best of all, cheese. No hit points though. Any more food I haven't eaten? Not kidding, the monkey head, of course. Alright, uh, onward. <laughs> Just very north. So, Lady Valerius' castle is perhaps not accessible? Is that a door or a non-door? Did I time that really badly? Yes, I timed that really badly. Losing my touch in my old age. Oh, well, it must have been nothing. 
It always is nothing. Are you drunk? You're having a lot of trouble going up those stairs there. Oh, there's a door up there. I wish we could check if this is a door, but no. A non door. I know where to go from there, so. Uh, I think I only have one strategy here, it's just to knock him on the head. Well. If I was really committed to ghosting, I would go up the stairs after he'd gone in and shut the door, but uh, I'm not that committed. Not when metal is involved. Sure taking his time, though. Looks like we've got a pathway over there. Where are we? I don't know. Is that the soap factory? Are we? No, surely we're not here yet. The letter in there is labeled ball. So we must be here. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, I guess he goes a long way inside. And I get stuck under a shelf. There's poo coming out of my loo. A practical guide to sewer maintenance. Hopefully he's the only guard in here, because uh, I don't like these walkways. This does appear to be our way into the soap factory. Please don't play games. There's a strange man over here. Come, quick. <laughs> well, when uh, you make inevitable clangs from... Uh, your feet going down unavoidably onto an item and it alerts someone. It's quite frustrating. Craig. I think that's the uh, ingredient we need. All right. Not a door. Jan, I've received the delivery of freshly laid cray eggs, but weren't able to work with them yet. Though they are young as can be, the eggs are incredibly sturdy. I don't want to break them open with a hammer, since what's inside mustn't be damaged. Ask Kukabuku if she can find us a diamond drill. That would be perfect to crack them eggs open. How? To all employees, it has come to my attention that some of you aren't speaking too kindly about our esteemed lady. Need I remind you that you only work 60 hours a week, or that most of our employees retain their limbs? Some folks in the city would kill for an opportunity to work here, especially in our little department. So be nice, unless you want to be transferred to the factory line. Oh, look at that. Water crystals going on the water cooler, how nice. Uh, choice of windows, let's go, for, let's go for this one first. <coughs> What's this building? This is oh the Kokubu Residence. Yeah, 
have a cathedral over there. Ah, uh, so this is where the people who treat their workers so very well live. Our blue goal. Oh, that's a non door, alright, so can't get any further in. Okay, so. Silver State Apartments, Maximilian Estate, we haven't been to. I have not been there, and I have not been in here. I don't know if they're reachable. And what's that building? Hmm. I haven't been in there either. Looking for one. Lights off, thank you. Oh, this one. This person has a very different design of oven. And they put their plates away after washing them, they just leave them in the sink. How unfortunate for me. He's a nuisance. Fifteen more towers. Why not? Let's use one or two. Uh, 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 uh. So I guess we're just kind of searching these places for loot right now. Even though we've hit our loot goal. What do I see there? What makes you think you see anything here? It's dark. It's just this statue of yours. I wish I could get out further to the south. Gonna wander around back and forth. I suppose if you do see me, it's easy enough for me to deal with you. Elbridge, a traveler's guide to the Great Bridge City. Hit point, yay. Don't tell me you got stuck. Hmm, thought I saw something.
to follow him back because otherwise he'll. Uh, there's nowhere to hide. Is hmm? someone there? Uh, these old buildings make too much noise. <clears throat> Well, if you will, stop in an awkward place. Uh, before I go out of this building, there was at least another one other apartment I hadn't been in. These people are not rich enough to have much stuff for me to steal. So out to the east or out to the south? Let's go out to the east. Oh wait, that's just... Oh, we, that's just that same building. So we don't need to go back in. Oh, hello. That that. <laughs> what will you do when you wake up to find a guard sleeping on this job? in your bed. Hmm. Well, it's not a very comfortingly wide ledge. Just one path. Don't hear any footsteps. Some rich person has had made their whole house out of glass. I wonder if they uh, enjoy. I don't know. Shot put. It's not his whole house made of glass, just the solarium, I guess. Top of this uh, structure. It'll be rather difficult to find out. With this guard walking around, not possible. Park ourselves here and uh, take a look. 
Chance of death, but not actually anything of particular interest. to save two floors Help! <sighs> they always have to yell I guess it's dark, I can see how it's brandishing a weapon in a threatening manner. Look at this food. One hit point. Where's that cheese? greatest ability is not to hide in the shadows but to uh, recover from arrow wounds and broken ankles by uh, eating apples and cheese Downstairs in the this room. This room seems to have somebody in it. <sighs> Dearest Edwin, I'm so delighted that you're coming to visit me in Bone. But I'll be sure to arrange a visit to the Bone City Museum. The place is simply massive and holds all kinds of ancient wonders. Be sure to board a ship directly from Dayport. Do not journey by road. Do not stop in Sarek. Travel from there is prohibited until the war is over, and who knows how long that could be. Love, Rena. Of course, nothing. Just the wind. Oh dear. I think he's going to get a bump on the noggin when he comes back around. So I don't fancy... I guess I could follow him. I can try following him. Sure. I have enough hit points to take a few risks now, I think.
can write some pickings. He's very slow, isn't he? Is there anything of value up here that I missed? Oh, there's another window. Okay, it's worth noting. Upstairs heard me. One tiny little tap on the tile. Maybe next time. Here he comes. south. Yeah, in that corner. Alright, so not that time, but we're going to try this again. Limber up. There's a window heading east. We're in here, I think that heads out that way. There's masks, I do need the masks. Damn, not again. Imagining things now. Check the downstairs. Flash bomb, that is quite nice. Quite nice. Oh, there is no downstairs. All right. chair in front of it that might not be easy. It also means waiting for him to go all the way around once more. Uh, 
I don't know if it actually goes anywhere, and that's the risk. And because there's no shadow on that side, on that end of the room, we really have to wait till he's on the way back to make a move. Or waste two more wood arrows, I suppose. Hmm. I don't know what else I'm going to use them for. Yeah. Well, that's not going to get me anywhere useful, is it? I've already been there. Alright. South window, then. Wait for the guard to come around. Follow him around. Damn drafty halls. Can't keep a torch lit to save your life. Hope we don't slip and fall on the, onto the tiles and make lots of noise. further along already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't really care. All right. Um, are we back at the greenhouse now? Back at the greenhouse now. So, that's the ball of state. There's uh, that's the ball of state there. That's the big cross shaped building. But I can't see any open windows on it from here. Let's just go back and have a. the room of the party. No. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Washbasin. You're right there. Don't let the wash basin fall off. <laughs> Wait, I tried that jump before and couldn't make it. Even if I like the look of it. Uh, where am where am I even trying to go? East? No, I can't go east. Right, I can go here. I still want to have another look and see if there's a way into Castle Valerius. It's being marked the way it is, suggests so maybe there is, but uh, it's probably a quick excursion. 
we've just uh, we're just right in uh, in here. That's Telford Telford Manor where the party was going. But uh, this is when we have to end the episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you here for the next episode.